Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be talking about the negatives or like the downsides to Alexandra's happy body plan and this is going to be based on my personal experience and also from what I've heard from others mainly because I have had quite a positive experience from it. However, I do notice the negatives and I do see them and why people might not want to join or just something to like bear in mind if you are thinking about buying it. I do have quite a long list which doesn't sound too great but I do personally think that this is actually very helpful things if you are thinking of purchasing it. It won't put you off if you really really want to start it but it's just something to consider when joining. So I'm going to go through it in just a second but I do just want to apologise for my background. It's not the greatest and I do want to make like a nice cute little background but I don't have like, I'm just trying to clean up the flat at the minute so that is what I'm focusing on is cleaning my flat right now. Um, and I also straightened my hair but because the camera is so far up you can't see it so just bear that in mind. But anyway, so if you didn't know, Alexandra's Happy Body Plan is basically like a fitness plan. I'm doing the 90 day shred, which is like 90 days, so 12 weeks of workouts and an eating plan and everything like that. I will obviously go into depth about that a little bit more as we go through the video. But she does also have a summer shred, which is six weeks instead of 12 weeks, so it's half the time. And I did do a video on why I'm not gonna buy that and why I don't think that that one is worth the money if you already have the 90 day shred. So you can go back on my channel and watch that if you want. But I'm just talking on my experience with the 90 day shred and also it kind of does tie in with the whole thing. So let's get into the video. I'm also extremely hoping that I'm in focus right now because I can't see. So hopefully, yeah. Right, I've got a list. So if you're looking down, it's because I'm reading my list. Obviously, like I said, I am talking based on other people's experiences and what I've seen rather than just my own because I can't experience all of these negatives in one go. But this is just what I've seen from others as well as myself. I have lost weight doing this plan and I do want to talk about that. If I hadn't started this plan, I wouldn't have lost weight because it's taught me how to. Now I know I can give other people advice on how to lose weight without you having to do the plan. So if you want to message me on Instagram and you don't want to do the plan and you don't have the money for it, then just message me on Instagram and I will try and get back to you quickly. It will go my message requests because obviously I won't be following you, but I will check my res message requests every day. So just message me if you wanna know like my tips on how to lose weight because I didn't actually know this before I started the plan, but I do now. Just put that out there. I'm glad I've done the plan, but these are the negatives. Okay, so number one is that you only get 12 videos. So what I mean by this is on the actual plan, when you sign up for it, you only get 12 workout videos and that is one work one video for each week. Some people sign up and they don't realise this because I actually don't think it's clear enough, like it doesn't clearly state what you actually get in the plan before you buy it and I don't think that's very good but maybe that's just me, I don't know. But yeah, you only get 12 workouts and there is hundreds and thousands and millions on YouTube that you can do. I've been doing HIIT workouts, which stands for high intensity interval training for years on YouTube. I've honestly like, if you ask any of my family members, I have been doing HIIT workouts for years. And in comparison to the ones on the plan, the ones on the plan are a lot more structured, which is what I like, because I like organized things, I like structure, and they are quite intense, but for the money, you, you know, you can get them sort of for free on YouTube anyway. So that's just what I'm gonna put out there that you only get 12. You are meant to repeat workout one, seven days, workout two for the next week, and then workout three for the next week. So it is quite repetitive. But obviously, if you get the plan, it will help you to stay motivated to do the workouts. Whereas if they was on YouTube, you might not be motivated to just go and find a workout because obviously on the plan, it's there for you. So you can consider that. 
So number two is that the food plan isn't really a plan, it's just suggested meal ideas. I'm kind of glad of that because I don't want something to be very specific and set out and just like in front of me, if you know what I mean, because then obviously you can change it around to your day. If it's very specific, then you might be less likely to stick to it because you might not be able to get the ingredients for the things or you might not, I don't know, want to eat that or you might not like it. So they just give you like recipe ideas for breakfast, lunch, and tea and then some snack ideas and they have the calories set out so breakfast 300 calories is what they have kind of measured every breakfast out to be every lunch is 400 calories and every like dinner meal is 500 calories so they've done that for you so that's quite good but i would make sure that if you are doing that track it in my fitness pal because they aren't always accurate the meals on there aren't always accurate and that is another point I'm going to mention in a little bit. Some people also don't like the meal ideas that they go on there. I'm not a picky person at all. The only foods that I don't really like is like sweet potato or like roasted vegetables. So for me, I can tailor, I can pretty much eat everything on that plan apart from a recipe that involves crab. But I'm not picky at all. A lot of people are picky and they just... Say that they don't like anything on the plan and i think sometimes in life you've just got to push yourself i've said this in a previous video if you want to be healthy you've got to eat vegetables you've got to have salads fruits and obviously carbs protein everything like that but what i'm saying is you have to push yourself and you can't just stay in your comfort zone of oh but i only like eating this this and this like you have to try things and i think that's important as well it's a lifestyle change it's not just oh well I'm gonna try and stick to what I normally eat but just eat less like try and have some variety and it will make you feel better and it will make your body better number three is that three yet yeah. number three was that not all of the images on the meal plan actually match up to the recipe now this is just a small one and it's kind of you know what goes and stuff like what happens in like recipe books but yeah sometimes on the image they will put like two slices of toast when actually they've only put in the recipe one or they'll say two or in the picture it's two crumpets instead of one um which is what's in the recipe which is a little bit misleading for some people because they will look at the image instead of the recipe and they will just copy the image and therefore go over the calories which is what some people have said so just bear that in mind also i personally think that some of the recipes are hard to understand because they're oversimplified which kind of contradicts each other they're oversimplified because they're trying to fit it in a small box it's not like a recipe it's just like a written paragraph and and it's very difficult to understand it when it's a long recipe because they're trying to fit such a large amount of information in such a small space and they end up making grammar mistakes, spelling mistakes, which is not very good considering it is like a, a well-known plan now and there's a lot of people doing it. But yeah, they do have that issue. I don't know if they've like sorted that or not, um, but that's just what I've noticed anyway and some other people have noticed as well. And also when you're like, when they say the ingredients for pasta or rice sometimes they won't say cooked pasta or cooked rice when that's what they mean so some recipes are for dry pasta and some recipes are for cooked pasta in terms of weight obviously you won't eat dry pasta but what i'm saying is they will say measure out I don't know, 100 grams of pasta. If it's anything above 80 grams, it's always going to be cooked pasta on that website because 100 grams of dry pasta is quite a lot of calories and they wouldn't do that. Number four. So, again, I'm reading down here, sorry. Workouts are repeating them every day and they could get boring, so I alternate. So, like I said a few minutes ago, is that you obviously have to do the same workout every day for a week and then the next week, the same one every day for a week. I know some fitness plans that you get a new workout every single day for a couple of months, which is amazing. Whereas this is just the same one. A lot of people do get bored. I was fine to start with, and I did kind of like the fact that every day you was doing the same workout, which meant that you was getting better at the exercises, which is what they, what the purpose is. But in my head, I just think that's quite like lazy of them to only have 12 workouts on there when they could have more variety. So I don't like that about the plan. But it still worked for me. But anyway, what I do is I alternate. So day one, I will do workout one. Day two, workout two. Day three, workout three. All the way up till 12. And then repeat again 
if you know what I mean. So every day I'm doing a different HIIT workout and that works for me. I like that, it keeps me motivated, it keeps me excited. I can't remember what exercises are in the next day. So, you know, there's not gonna be that thing of, oh my God, I've got to do that exercise tomorrow. It's because, I don't know, I just like it. Number five. Other plans are cheaper and you get a workout every day. So I did say a couple of minutes ago that some plans you do get a workout every single day and it is a lot cheaper um, to buy them. And I do think that this is quite expensive because it's got Alexandra's name on it and that they've managed to push the price up because obviously it's her, she's from Love Island and she's got a large following. But I do think that there are other kind of workout fitness plans out there that do give a lot more content for the money that you get but they um with this you do get a facebook group and it's very motivating but you know it's not really worth the money that you're paying just for that but that is a good positive side to it um but just to let you know don't just think oh i want to do this plan because alexandra's from love island she's lost this weight like surely she knows what she's doing there are other plans out there as well that maybe you would prefer or that's more like better value for money that kind of thing so just look around a little bit Okay, number six. <laughs> number six, I was like, you don't get the plan forever. And some people will buy it and they think that they do get the plan forever. And they think, yeah, this is a one-off purchase. I'm gonna buy it because it's not horrifically clear when you're buying it that you don't actually get the plan forever. When I bought it, it, it didn't say anything about that even though I did in my head assume that I wouldn't get the plan forever, purely for the fact that it makes sense. I completely agree that you shouldn't get it forever because it's not, you know, it's it's content online. If you was to, to get, it's almost like Netflix, like you don't get Netflix forever. You have to pay monthly for it. And I just think that makes sense. They're putting on new content um, every so often. They haven't put any new workouts on, but they put on new meal ideas and things like that. And I think that's a fair system to do it like that. I think it's fair. Um, but just FYI, you don't get it forever. You get it for 120 days. So if you're doing the 90 day shred, this is, the summer one is different, but the 90 day shred, you get it for your 90 days and then you get an extra 30 days. So that's 120 days, which means that if you're, you know, you have an injury or you're ill or something like that, then you've got those extra days to kind of, you know, have, if you know what I mean. And then after that, you can pay five pounds a month when your plan has ended, if you would wish to keep it. That doesn't automatically happen. You have to actually go out your way to subscribe to that five pounds a month. So as soon as your plan ends, it ends, and then you can have the choice to pay monthly for it, which I think is very reasonable. Five pounds is not that much. Some people in the group that I'm in was complaining and moaning about that saying, oh my God, five pounds, I can't afford it. But actually at the end of the day, these people that are moaning about not being able to afford the five pounds a month probably will go out to Starbucks and get a drink for five pounds. So I think, you know, you can really, it's worth it for me. And I think it's worth it for them. If they've managed to buy the plan in the first place, I'm sure they can afford five pounds just, you know, a month. And if the next month they can't afford it, then just cancel it. That's that's just how it goes. Um, but, you know, you just have to prioritise things. You know, are you going to sit there complaining about paying five pounds for something that's going to last you a month long when you would happily sit there and buy a drink for five pounds that's just gone in seconds? So just you know, think about that. Also, there is an added bonus thing that you can get on there, which is an ab and bum workout, and you can get that for five pounds. So you've got your 12 workouts, and then as an addition to the 90 day shred, and also the summer shred as well, you can get an ab and a bum workout as well. There's only one ab workout and one bum workout on there. Some people think that you'd get more, Five pounds is extremely expensive for two workouts that are average in my opinion. Now, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Yeah, my opinions are controversial sometimes, but I'm here to state them. And if you disagree, that's fair enough. And you can tell me you disagree in the comments. But yeah, I don't think that they're worth the money, especially the especially both of them. I was gonna say especially the ab workout, but no, both of them are very, very average. So that's two pounds fifty each when you can go onto YouTube and get really intense workouts. Now this is coming from somebody that has done so many workouts on YouTube. I've done loads of ab workouts, loads of bum workouts. The ones on this plan are average in comparison to those. 
So I know that some people get great results from those workouts and I know that some people really enjoy them and you know they actually struggle to do them but that's because if you're a beginner then that's fair enough you know you are going to struggle but if you're somebody that's you know not a beginner to ab or bum workouts and you've been doing them for years and then youtube has got some great ones you don't need to buy these um but like i said if you are a beginner fair enough but there's also beginner workouts on youtube like literally the bum workout is just like fire hydrants and stuff like that like where if you don't know what a fire hydrant is then just research it but it's just the most simplest exercises you know it's only four exercises in the whole ab workout it's just so simple and you just don't need to buy it trust me but obviously if you want to then you can i did because i didn't know what it was and i don't really care that i bought it i'm you know i'm glad i did but i don't actually do those workouts because they're not good enough uh, you know i don't feel any pain i get through it really easily because i'm used to the ones on youtube so i just wanted to throw that out there for anybody that was thinking about getting that it depends on your fitness level if you will get on with them well or not also you do have to bear in mind doing this plan obviously alexandra hasn't claimed and she even said this in a youtube video she hasn't claimed that to get from where she was originally to how she is now she didn't claim to just do 10 minutes of exercise a day she was in the gym she was training she even said that in a video so it's not gonna be you know a quick process you're not gonna get the same results as her, or maybe you will, but it's not guaranteed. So you just have to bear that in mind. Kind of leading on from that is that it can be misleading to think that you only need to do 10 minutes of exercise. And yet yeah, you only do need to do 10 minutes of exercise. If your if your um, eating is on track, if your you know food is right and your calories, if you are in a calorie deficit, you will lose weight effectively. So that is what I'm trying to say. If you're in a calorie deficit, you will lose weight and um, 10 minutes of a workout is fine. You don't need to be burning loads of calories. It's mainly about food. However, when people are doing this plan, they will do more exercise because the more exercise you do, the better you feel. You feel happier. You feel like you've got more energy and it's just it's just the whole process. And some people in the group start complaining and saying, oh, can people stop posting up pictures saying that their results are from the 90 day shred when they're doing extra workouts or they're doing more than one hit workout. When actually the plan doesn't state you only have to do one workout and then you get results. Anybody can share their results from anything they've done. You know, you can look at somebody's results and as long as they've told you exactly what they've done, then you can learn from that it's not fair to like put somebody down just because they've been exercising more just because you don't want to so i think you know you can still get results with just 10 minutes but you will get quicker results with doing more and it's up to you if you want to do that and also you know you don't burn that many calories um when you're working out but you do tone up quite a lot and that's what i like and also as your fitness level increases the amount of workouts that you do will also increase because you will feel like you want to do more which goes without saying if you are heavier weight then you will burn more calories doing the hit workouts than somebody that is a lot smaller and therefore if you are getting fitter and you're losing weight you will therefore be burning less calories than you was before so therefore you might want to do more so you do just have to consider that as well okay number is it seven are we on seven or have i just completely missed off okay let's just say number seven um the group chat is large and it does have some negativities so you do get added into a group chat when i was added to in, into it it had about four thousand people in it now it's got about 24 25 000 people in it so there's a lot of people in this group chat and it's you know full of women as well as a few men that are doing the plan but it's mainly women and there is some people being negative like i've said people complaining about other people doing workouts or people complaining that the plan's a scam or that it doesn't work just because it doesn't work for you doesn't mean it won't work for others and also you do have to bear in mind that you might not be doing it right so you can't go out there and say it's a scam because you probably aren't tracking your calories right or you probably aren't you know doing it right do you know what i mean so you have to just take a step back because trust me it does work if you actually do it right so i'm just gonna say that and you know i might be controversial and i might offend people with what i say but i actually don't care because i'm just gonna say it you can come back and fight me if you want i'm joking <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, like I said, they do have some negativity, but mostly there is positivity. But when somebody's been negative, honestly, the comments are full of people going, la, 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 la. you know, there were some people making fun of Aaron, who is um, also made the plan as well, one of the personal trainers with Alex. Like, why? Like, what? What, what comes into your brain to think I'm just gonna say something horrible about somebody else? And you know, there were some people posting other people's pictures saying this person's lying about their results. Like honestly, it can be quite negative and it can make people wanna leave the group. And it nearly made me wanna leave the group because people just get so feisty and it's just not nice. And yeah. I'm just going to put that out there and also if you are following the group it will be post after post after post it's all you see on Facebook is that group I did mute it for a few days but then I kind of missed it so I did unmute it but yeah just to let you know but obviously you can mute the group you don't have to leave the group you can just mute it and then just go in you know and see the post whenever you want Okay, number eight is that even though you might think you're doing the plan, you won't lose weight unless you're in a calorie deficit. So you might think, oh, I'm following the recipes, I'm following the meal ideas, I'm doing the workout, but I'm not losing weight. You may be tracking your calories incorrectly. You may be inputting them into like my fitness pal or whatever tracker app you've got. It is, you know, highly recommended to get an app to track your calories. But yeah, you might not be doing it correctly or you might be adding like measurements in differently, which will mean that you're not in a calorie deficit. So try and calculate it and try and, you know, make it specific to you. Sorry if like the background or anything's changed. I think it has slightly. There we go. Um, Jamie just came in to have a cigarette outside. Um, I don't smoke. Just thought I'd say that. Okay, so. The next one is that the calories stated on the plan, it states 1,400 every day. Oh my God, it's not in focus, or is it? Or am I just being stupid? Why is it not focusing on my feet? This isn't a focus, I'm going to be mad. Okay, anyway, on the plan, it states 1,400 for everybody. Like it doesn't vary, it's just 1,400, that's it, done. Whereas I think obviously everybody's different, everybody's got different heights, different you know weights, different activity levels and you need to consider that. So if you personally want to go out and calculate your BMR, go online, calculate it. BMR is what you, um, like what calories you need to eat to just maintain your weight. So if you eat less than that, you will lose weight. Obviously if you eat only a little bit less, you won't lose that much weight. Um, but online it will tell you everything so if you want to do that then calculate that I think Alexandra said she was going to do something about that in the future anyway but I think you know it isn't right for the plan to just state sort of one figure for everybody because everybody is different and um but yeah 1400 calories seems to work completely fine for me so that's what I'm gonna stick to my, my metabolism isn't the fastest so I you know I know some people were eating like 1800 calories and losing weight that is not me so just bear that in mind that some people have to eat a lot less than others which is unfortunate but there we go and also if you're a man then you need to eat a lot more also another point to figure out it's funny how i started off being like point one point two and now i literally have no idea what we're on but another point is that there's actually a lot of false advice in the group given by others there's obviously thousands and thousands of people in the group you know somebody will comment i'm hungry what should i do or and i've had all my calories or i'm not losing any weight but i'm eating 1200 calories um and people will give advice like your body is going in starvation mode increase your calories or you know things like that when actually sometimes and this is sometimes people are mistracking and they're actually eating a lot more than what they think some people have messaged me saying i'm not losing weight blah 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 and i say how many calories are you eating a day do you have my fitness power and they'll say oh no i've been guessing you can't guess okay you can't guess your brain is not the internet your brain is not a calorie counter okay you're just making stuff up so you can't actually guess okay just put it out there do not guess you can only estimate and guess if you have previously weighed things out and you've been seeing the amounts by eye for a long time but if you've just started the plan and you just think well i'm pretty sure you know um this piece of pasta this bowl of pasta is probably like 100 calories you can't say that because it could actually be like 400. Somebody was just guessing their cereal and they were just guessing it was about 100 when actually it was over 400. So 
that was not a good day for her but you know you do have to weigh things out um so yeah there is a lot of false advice and alexandra d did say that she is going to talk to a specific nutritionist that's going to come on and speak to us about it because you know everyone's giving such contradictory advice to people and it's just it's just so annoying when you see it obviously i don't know everything but sometimes people say things like oh uh, you can eat 700 calories and be fine you should not be eating 700 calories like people are there promoting it saying that's absolutely fine if you are sat at home and that is what you are eating you are not eating enough you will you know your body's organs and your bodily functions will start to shut down people will lose their periods for sometimes years because of this and not be able to get it back until you know a couple of years after because they've you know when your body is lacking calories it shuts down certain processes because it's needing the calories for other more important things and you can really do some damage to your body by doing that so do not do that i would say from absolute lowest is 1200 absolute lowest also i would like to say weight loss is different if you're on medication because some people have medication where some side effects are that you gain weight and obviously if that's you then you have to kind of look into that yourself and it's going to be different for you but this is for people that don't really take medication with those side effects and it's just a, a basic um normal functioning body with no like conditions or anything oh this is a good one i'm hoping people are still watching this now or i might just put these points into the beginning of the video because the support team is terrible now some people you know might say that it's actually quite good because you might have had a good experience with them like i did but that was because i first started the plan in january when there wasn't that many people they are severely understaffed you know they don't have enough people to reply and it's terrible honestly like one guy uh sorry one girl messaged this guy who is obviously an admin or something saying oh how long do i have access for the 90 day shred and he was like literally i saw the screenshot of this he was like oh well obviously it's 90 days because it's a 90 day plan and actually he was wrong it's 120 days you get it for so you know that's just not the kind of attitude that you want you know somebody to be like so the support team are not good you know some of them might be fine but i don't know how many they have but yeah and i'll go into why they're they're not very good in a minute obviously some people have good experiences but the majority of people have terrible experiences so i'm just going to put that out there um a lot of people are charged twice or three times i was charged twice for mine but because i bought the plan when not many people were doing it then i got my money back very quickly but because a lot of people have joined now people are not getting their money back for being charged twice or three times for about a month or so and not even getting responses you know they're messaging they're emailing the support team and they're not emailing them back for weeks you know obviously the case is different for everybody but the majority of people do say that and it's not good that is not good when you you know it's that the plan's mistake that it has charged them more times than once and they're the ones that are being really slow about replying so it's really annoying about that and it does happen to most people so that's a fault in the system also you cannot refund it so they will not refund you if you you know started the plan and then the next day break your leg and can't do the workouts they won't refund you because anyone could say that anyone could say oh i you know i've got an injury i can't do it please can i have a refund and then you could have just gone on and screenshotted all of the um meal recipe ideas and recorded all of the workouts and then you've got the content but you still got your refund that's what people can do so i completely understand why they wouldn't give refunds but i just wanted to put that in there and if you message them asking for a refund they will say no you cannot pause the plan as well some people were thinking that oh it's so unfair that we can't pause the plan but then again that's what everybody would say if they wanted to keep the plan on and not pay for like the monthly subscription is i've got an injury like how how do they know that that's true sort of thing i think it's completely fine that they've given us the 90 days um and then the 30 days extra i think that's very very good so you know i don't think it's a problem to not be able to pause the plan it's just unfortunate if you do have an injury also 
along with the fact that the support is bad some people can't actually access the uh, plan for about a month Pe people will buy it and then not be able to get into it they'll put in their login details and everything and still not be able to get in and they'll be emailing support and they won't be emailing back or they'll be saying yep yeah, we're getting straight on it and then two weeks later they're still not done it there's a load of people in the group like that because obviously they you know they want to be doing the plan so they're worried and they will comment in the group saying i want to do the plan but i can't because i can't get access to it and obviously they're stressing out because they paid all this money and also if you can't access your plan for a month that is a whole month gone out of the time from the plan and then the support team will say oh i'm sorry we can't refund you that time so that is not good obviously i think some people have been refunded that time but i know some people haven't and that is really really bad considering it's not the person's fault it's the plan's fault so i actually think a strong strong negative about this plan is that the you know technical side of it and the support side of it is not great and also some people's workouts um will lag and you know not work as well which they've kind of sorted out a little bit um but yeah my internet is fantastic and i had that problem a little bit so it's not always your internet um that's the problem with that but yeah so i think the support team are terrible i'm not gonna lie to you and also the way that they speak to you is actually quite patronizing and that is from a personal experience and also from what i've seen from other people is that it isn't like um, they don't speak to you like a you know professional they're not professional at all i'll try and shut up now so that is everything for this video overall i am glad i did it because i have seen results but these are the negatives and there are some big negatives in there just to bear in mind and if you have any of the issues with it that i've mentioned in this video then message me and we'll try and sort things out about it um because you know you might, it might be better to sort it out if somebody's got a problem and loads of people get involved and start messaging alexandra about that person's problem then we might be able to get it sorted quicker sort of thing so yeah if you want to message me about anything my instagram is linked in the description go and check it out and i will reply to you as soon as possible um so yeah that is just the negatives that i have found if some people are offended by some of the things that i've said then i am sorry but you know you can give your opinions in the comments as well and i will obviously read them but this is just from my experience and i know some people will probably come at me and say that the support team is actually really good but obviously like i said a lot of people do have good experiences but also a few too many people have terrible experiences so that's why i've mentioned it but yeah thank you for watching and please subscribe for like updated results on how i'm doing video with the plan and everything like that give it a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye